Okay, we're going to start, uh, we're going to collect some data for Boyle's Law um, using this setup, okay? Uh, we're going to use a, a computer. We're using a program called SparkView, and attached interface to the computer is a sensor, and it's, we're going to use the pressure sensor here, and you can see that this syringe that contains the air contains 20 mils right now. The volume of the air is 20 mils. Um, it's, it, the syringe is connected by a tube that then is connected to the sensor and this is, this is what's, what's determining the pressure that's in the tube in the syringe. And you can see that right now it's 0.99 atmospheres. So let me just show you what happens. What I'm gonna do is squeeze this. I'm gonna decrease the volume and you you'll be able to see the pressure goes up. That makes sense, right? Volume goes down, pressure goes up. All right, and then we can do the opposite. We can increase the volume of air, and the pressure goes down. Okay. All right, let, let's record this data into your data table. Boyle's Law Lab, there's a data table pressure volume. So let's record that um, at 20 mils. You see the volume here at 20 mils? the pressure is uh, 0.99 atmospheres. Okay, so let's just increase the, the volume by, by two milliliters. Okay, so you're at 22 mils, 0.91. Okay, now we're at 24 mils, 0.84. 26 mils, 28 mils, um, 30 milliliters right now, 0.69, 30, 32 mils, all right, now we're at 34 mils, 36 mils, 0.57, let's see, 38 mils, 0.5. 0.55, and then finally 40 mils. You hear me struggling right now, right? Because I'm pulling against atmospheric pressure. About 0.5, let's see. 40 mils is 0.52. All right, so you notice like we doubled the volume and the pressure went, was about, about one half as great. Kind of makes sense, right? They're inversely proportional. Okay, so now what you'll do is make a pressure versus volume graph. Volume is the independent variable. We, 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 we controlled the volume, and what depended on the volume was the, the pressure. So the pressure is going to go on the y-axis, okay? Typically, typically independent variables go on the x-axis when we graph them in science.